Hello Libra, welcome to your love reading. Um, all right, let's jump into your love reading. We're going to be looking at what's going on, what's coming your way in love, and where it's all headed um, in this reading. So let's see, for Libra, move this over. let's see, who or what is coming your way? Spirits, angels, guides, messages for Libra, please. Libra, this is a general love reading, so it will not resonate with every single Libra watching. If it does not resonate for you, then check out my playlist for Libra. I'll have it linked in the cards, and it's also on my homepage. Just click on my username. Scroll down and find the Libra playlist. Who or what is coming Libra's way in love spirit? I'm using the Crow Tarot. All of the decks that I'm using are linked in the description box. Who or what is coming Libra's way in love spirit? Who or what is coming Libra's way in love? Okay, we have the Nine of Cups reversed. Who or what is coming Libra's way in love? We have the Seven of Swords. What? What is happening? Who or what is coming Libra's way in love? Knight of Swords. Interesting. Something quick. Um, something to do with communication here. A message. Um, some sort of blunt truth. Um, something that could even take you by surprise because it's so quick. Um, the Seven of Swords, though, I feel like, I don't know. Uh, with the Nine of Cups reversed, the Seven of Swords, it's like there was possibly something that you thought was going to be fulfilling for you or be something good for you, and perhaps it wasn't, or there's some sort of truth that you are, you know, learning about or, or you know, just experiencing in some way. We're going to see what else this means. Bottom of the deck, we have the Wheel of Fortune reversed. So, yeah, I feel like this is something that maybe you weren't... Yeah, and this could have been even something new, like someone that you met recently or someone that you opened up to recently or vice versa. Let's see what else we get here. Tell me more. What is the energy surrounding Libra? Tell me more for Libra spirit. What is the energy surrounding love here for Libra? March 2021. Sacred pool number 47. I'm going to look real quick. I'm not going to read it. I'm just going to look at the key message here. Focus on self love, self esteem. Act with surety and confidence, and success shall be yours. A reflection of your thoughts feelings and beliefs so interesting the message that I got here um, when I put this down was of the star Aquarius energy um, I feel like this is a message about like what you put into something what you give you you get back um, like a almost like um, an exchange here and I don't know why I'm getting that um, this is a reflection of what you're thinking or feeling, the sacred pool. And if you can see in this photo, this beautiful photo, there's someone floating. Um, and there's kind of like some sort of spiritual orb or something coming out of this person. Okay, let's get some more. I just thought that was so interesting. Normally I don't get that card in particular but it's a very spiritual card for me um let's see what else give me some more insight for libra regarding love Spirit, tell me more for libra regarding love finances and career i keep getting this card financial issues are a factor in your love life right now and then we have soulmate at the bottom of the deck Yes, this is your soulmate. 
want to take this one out. So this is a, a special connection. Whoever is coming your way or you're dealing with, it's possibly a soulmate of yours. Um, and finances and career, Gemini had this card as well. Um, it could be because of what's going on right now. Um, we'll see. Can I get one more? For Libra, please. I'm using my Stellar Energy Oracle deck. You can get this. Um, it's linked down below. Lasting Promise. Commitment, longevity, future. This connection will stand the test of time. So if you look at this card, it has two wedding rings on it. So there could be... Um, some of you are dealing with a Gemini. Because Gemini had a very similar type of reading. Um, their person is most likely in some sort of commitment or family situation. And I'm starting to think that, you know, either you were committed to this person um, or this person has a commitment or is married or something similar. We'll see when I clarify. Bottom of the deck, I have reach out and Gemini got this card as well. Contact, exchange, touch, take the, initiate, take the initiative to reach out if I could read. So this person could be reaching out to you, um, c communicating in some way. I have the Knight of Swords here. Let's clarify. Let's get some information here for you. Spirit, help me clarify for Libra. Maybe this is a connection that will last the test of time, like the card says. But for some reason, I just, I don't know. I have the Seven of Swords here. So something seems off. So let's clarify and see. Tell me about the Nine of Cups reverse. Why is the Nine of Cups reverse? Yeah, we have the Seven of Swords reverse. Yeah. You caught someone doing something or you are dealing with someone who is not being very upfront with you or they're hiding something. Um, maybe they're just keeping something to themselves here. Have the Wheel of Fortune at the bottom of the deck. Tell me more about this Nine of Cups reverse. We got the Ace of Wands. Hmm. Why the Ace of Wands? Again, I feel like this was something that recently started. Oh, I got two. Ten of Wands, two of Swords Reverse. the end of a cycle or, or something that possibly a burden that needed to be dropped here. So someone had made the decision to drop a burden or to deal with a burden here. It could also be that this is something Libra that started you and this person had some sort of beginning, but there's baggage here. There's something that maybe was carried over into this connection. I feel like maybe this was something that felt really exciting at first. Maybe it was very passionate, but quickly it became some sort of burden or something maybe that someone was carrying on their own. Um, maybe someone was keeping something to themselves and this caused some sort of baggage in the connection. Why is the Seven of Swords here? Page of Cups. So this could be somebody here that could be apologizing to you um, for whatever the Seven of Swords is. Let's see. Tell me more about the Seven of Swords. What is this about, Spirit? Seven of Pentacles Reverse. Tell 
Tell me more about the Seven of Swords. The star. Aquarius energy. Yeah, I feel like this is someone that wants to heal this connection. Perhaps this is someone, something that you've been hoping for, or maybe you're doing a lot of healing and self-care on your own with the star because of whatever the Seven of Swords was. I feel like someone wants to apologize to you for the Seven of Swords, or perhaps this is someone that maybe was hiding how they truly felt about you. What's this Page of Cups about? The lovers, wow. So this is someone who, yeah, they probably want a connection with you or feel a strong connection with you here with the lovers and the Page of Cups. Gemini energy with the lovers. So maybe you're definitely dealing with a Gemini or they have Gemini somewhere in their chart. <clears throat> An Aquarius could be as well, but you know, it's almost like this is someone that has some sort of hope or faith or, or they want to heal this connection. Take it as it resonates because I'm seeing that it could go either way there. Why is the Knight of Swords, well, the Ace of Swords, why is the Knight of Swords here? What is this about? Why is the Knight of Swords here? Two of Cups reversed. So yes, I feel like there was some sort of disconnect here. Tell me about the Knight of Swords. There's the Hierophant, Commitment, Taurus Energy, and the Four of Cups reversed. Someone has had a change of heart or renewed interest in something that they didn't have interest in before. We have the Eight of Cups reversed. So this could be somebody wanting to return. We have the Hangman and then the Five of Cups. Yeah, this is someone that's thinking a lot about the past, possibly having regrets, missing you, or um, yeah, maybe they, maybe they're stuck somewhere too because I have the Hangman and the Eight of Sword and the Eight of Cups reversed. Sometimes this can mean that someone's prevented or delayed from leaving a situation and is not really moving. Um, something happened between you and this person. Um, that has caused a disconnect or perhaps someone here um, needs to communicate to you about a commitment. Why is the higher font here? Why is the higher font here for Libra? Two of Wands, Seven of Wands, Reverse. A choice about a commitment and I have the Knight of Cups at the bottom here. So and then the two of pentacles interesting it's almost like someone's debating whether they should communicate with the knight of cups like bring this offer but i have the seven of wands reverse so seven of wands reverse could be somebody that lacks courage um perhaps does not have strength to fight back or fight for something I feel like this is someone that hasn't decided whether they should fight or give up. Interesting. This could be you or your person. This is just what's going on right now. That someone has had a change of heart here. Let's get some information about your person. Get some insight. What are they? What are they? Um, what are their energies in this connection? Spirit, tell me about the person that Libra is dealing with. What are their energies in this connection? What is this person's energy in this connection with Libra? I feel like there's something here that someone just didn't... Wedding bells. See, this person's either married or wants to marry you, but I have a feeling that this is someone that's in a commitment. I have wedding bells here. Bottom of the deck, walking away. Maybe they need to walk away from a situation or maybe they walked away from you. Tell me more about this person. Tell me more about their energies and this connection spirit towards Libra. 
more about this person and their energies towards Libra, please. Four of Swords reversed. Feeling restless, wanting to take action after no action. Wanting to maybe open up. Maybe they were quiet and now they want to speak up. Yeah, this is someone that has been hiding something or hasn't been open about something here. With the sun reverse. Bottom of the deck, I have temperance. Sagittarius energy. What's behind that? Six of swords reverse. Another card about like returning or unable to leave a, a situation. Interesting. This is making me think of sacred pool as well. These... See how there's like a little pool here and there's water. This person or this crow is kind of like pouring from one cup to another. Um, so I feel like this, this person is almost like, um, you know, it, it's almost like whatever this is that they're hiding or keeping from you. Um, I feel like it won't be hidden much longer because I have the Four of Swords reverse here. I have the Knight of Swords. So this is like clarity, communication, truth, something being brought to you or to the surface or something like that. So where is all of this headed? Spirit, tell me. For Libra. Where is this headed for Libra and this other person? Libra, if this is resonating for you, leave me a comment down below. I'd love to hear if this is resonating for you. Where is all of this headed? Where is all of this headed? We have the Four of Wands reversed. Where is all of this headed? Knight of Wands reversed. Yeah, there, someone here could have been unfaithful or just unreliable. Someone that you possibly couldn't depend on was in and out energy. Page of Wands reverse. Interesting. Bottom of the deck, I have the Eight of Pentacles reverse and the Higher Font reversed. And then right after that, the Devil reverse. So this is someone that's in, I feel, a commitment. And whatever the case may be, either they cannot put effort or energy into your connection or they're unable to, their connection or their commitment isn't working let's see help me clarify so in the near future what i see here is i i don't see a lot of action um and we'll see why that is why is the four of wands reverse king of swords reverse and the higher font again this person could have maybe isn't able to talk to you because of this commitment or deceived you about a commitment they were in. Tell me more about this Four of Wands reverse. I don't think this is a stable home. Yeah, this Page of Swords reverse. This is someone, there's deceit here in some way. Either they're not opening up to you or not communicating with you or they're deceiving you. Um... Why is the Knight of Wands reverse? Why is the Knight of Wands reverse? Six of Swords reverse again. And the Lovers again. <laughs> you know, it's almost like they, they you know, this is a, a prob probably a, a soulmate connection, a very strong union. I feel like this person has to make a choice here. The Hermit, Virgo energy, Gemini energy, Taurus energy. Um, yeah, I feel like this is someone that's still thinking about how to leave a situation. They're not able to take action right now. But I feel like in terms of like the motivation, the choice, I think they've already made that. Because this is them wanting to actually move, act, or talk. Why is the Page of Wands reverse? The world reverse so that's why they're unable to take initial steps because they're still stuck in a cycle right here the cycle hasn't ended for them they still have to wrap things up yeah and until then that's why we have the nine of cups reverse they're unable to get their wish 
fulfilled, whether this is your wish or their wish, they're, that's unable to, to happen. Because this world reverse means there's a lack of closure. Something hasn't fully ended for them. The sun reverse. And again, I don't know if you know this because I have the sun reversed again. Um, I don't know if this is hidden from you. Uh, maybe this is going on somewhere you can't see or maybe you're not aware of all of this that's happening or perhaps you just you haven't gotten that clarity yet um, but I feel like this is someone that has decided they want to be with you ha wants to reach out to you but maybe they're already in a commitment or perhaps they are still in a situation that prevents them from being with you um, otherwise I'll leave it here Libra thank you so much for checking out this reading I hope it resonated for you if it didn't, check out my playlist for Libra. If it did, leave me a comment and let me know. I'd love to hear from you. Uh, leave a like and subscribe if you like these readings and want to see more. And I'll see you all in another video. Take care.